Today we're working in MoveAccount 11.4. We're going to take a look at the MoveAccount editor and workspace. And we've just finished installing MoveAccount on the PC and opened it for the first time. Here we can see the default layout with the Project Explorer on the left, a Property Viewer on the right, the Refractoring and Script Explorers on the bottom. We can actually hide these for later use by clicking on the Auto Hide pin. And we can always access them again on the lower bar here by mousing over. We can also see them through the View menu. If we go up to View, we can see we've got a couple options with an arrow. If we hover over or click on the arrow, we've got more options available to us. So this is where we can also find the Script Explorer, XML Code Explorer, and so on. I'm actually going to turn that feature off so that when I click on a menu, I see all options available. I can do that by going to Tools, Customize, selecting the Options tab, and clicking on the Menus Show Recently Used Commands First checkbox. I want to actually uncheck that. After I do that, I can see when I select a menu, now all options are available. A couple other spots we want to check out. We've got the toolbox. If we click on that, I'm actually going to pin it down. And we can see here we've got some graphical objects that can be used on our screens, as well as the symbol library, where we can see some graphical items as well for different industries fans, blowers, motors, and so on. Now you also notice you can undock these windows. This is handy if you wanted to use multiple monitors when developing your screens, as you can take these and put them on other screens. So you can leave the workspace open for just uh, screen development and have your Project Explorer and Property Viewer on other screens. You also see when you click to drag these around, the little pop-ups that come up. If you mouse over that pop-up, you'll see that that window gets placed in the placement. If you double click on the top header of the window, it'll go back to its last uh, configured position. I'm also going to turn on a couple other toolbars. If I go up to the View menu, I'm going to select Formatting. This allows me to format uh, text, size, font, color, and so on. I'm going to turn on Aligning. This allows me to align multiple objects, make them the same size, and uh, center them on the screen. Another toolbar I like is the symbols. This allows me to change the Z order of objects, as well as group and ungroup. And finally, the layers toolbar. This allows me to set layers to objects. We'll take a look at that uh, a little bit later when we start adding objects to the screen. That concludes this tutorial on the MoveCon workspace.